Hi, this is Mike Negami, Lean Sigma Black Belt. Today, I'll talk about the four steps of the improved face. This face is the main part of the Lean Sigma project. The four steps are 1. Review all day variables that were made through the analyzed face. 2. Design a new business process that would achieve total optimization. 3. Make a transition plan to move to the new process smoothly. 4. While rotating through the PDCA cycle, complete the transition plan. This has a lot of content, so I divided it into two videos. Frankly speaking, the first three phases before were just preparation for the improved phase. In fact, more than half of the project's time is spent on this phase. Until the analyze phase, project managers are expected to be expert analysts. However, in the improved phase, they are expected to have strong creativity and communication skills. The first step is review all the variables that were made through the analyze phase. Review all of the documents you made. Let's list up the major documents here. Related video links will be shown, so click them and watch those videos. From the define phase, the first variable is a project charter. Check your project's purpose and goal again. Also, in order to see the current situation and the value-added analysis, review the target process value story map. Measure your CTQ critical to quality as you conduct your project to check your project's progress. You may not be able to do this often in project for service operations, but at least make the CTQ tree and convert your customer's requirements to CTQs. Review vital few issues from the current situation's analysis data. A typical tool for this is a palette chart. By reviewing the root cause analysis from the Ishikawa diagram conducted in the analyze phase, solutions will come up naturally. After reviewing all the variables, what should you do next? The second step is design a new business process that would achieve total optimization. At this stage, although you may want to look for an IT system from outside vendors, it's not too late to design a new ideal business process first. You may finish the project faster and cheaper that way in the long run. Otherwise, you would apply an IT system to an inefficient process and your project might fail. So, how can we design a new business process? You can use the CIPOC analysis and the value story map here too. Please watch the related video for that. These videos are targeting an existing process, but they can be applied to designing a new process. I use value story mapping quite often, but this tool has one weak point. It's difficult to describe the concept of decision on the map. You can add it on the map, but that would lose the original purpose of seeing the big picture. After finalizing the new high-level business process on the value stream map with your stakeholders, you can use flowchart to design detailed processes. They can contain the decision concept. I have a flowchart template, so I'll make a video about that soon. My videos until now have emphasized Six Sigma topics such as DMake and data analysis, but you can use many of the concepts and tools of Lean, which is the Toyota production system in designing a new business process. The major examples for that are Kanban pool system for Kaioke, which is mistake proofing, 5S, etc. I'll introduce them in my future videos. Today, I explained the first two steps of the improved face. Thank you very much for viewing.
please click the subscribe button and click and watch my other related videos. Thanks.